here's a fresh look at an Echo with a pop top. So when you get the pop top, you can't get the outside kitchen. Which I think you probably know that. This one just rolled in from the factory. So in this compartment where you normally have the camp kitchen, tail tailgate kitchen, whatever they call it, you have a good storage compartment and another connection for a shower over there. These doors are really heavy duty and thick. Pretty cool. Here's your Truma tankless water heater. Let's see, there's your propane still. Connection for your bar for your grill. This thing just rolled in so it's been through some weather. Got your massive storage, which opens up at the back as well, and the other side. So you got a little latch here you can grab onto it. That bat wing, which if you see my other video, I have it out, it swings all the way around. It's got really good coverage for sitting underneath. It's a lot lower than a typical awning, so it creates a good shaded spot. I love the way they designed this uh, station here because you don't have to bend down for all these other controls. They're up on top for the first time ever. Just really well laid out. Gravity fill, so you can fill up quickly there. 30 amp connect exhaust for the tankless water heater. This is your cassette. Can't do it one-handed, but there you go. Makes dumping anytime really easy. That's just a storage compartment for, what is it, for your, I think it's intended to be storage for like a sewer hose. I believe. Um, let's see. This one. More. Okay, it's your lithium battery. Main coach disconnect or inverter disconnect. I'm not sure. That's your inverter in there. Take a look inside. So the pop top still has the solar up there, I noticed. Air conditioner is mounted in the back, same position. With the regular, the non-pop top, you get a roof rack up there. So, go back far enough, you'll see that solar panel up there. This door that they came up with is also really designed well, heavy duty. You can, it's just got a, just a nicer feel to it than the other stuff. You can have to look at it. It's got a screen material here, but it's got metal on the other side. So if you have a pet, the pet's not gonna be able to get, you know, mess with that too much. Some of your main on and off coach battery or disconnect switch, awning light, awning out, three inside lights. This is a spot where your lagoon table, which is sitting over here, goes when you have this seat rotated around. Only this one swivels. I like how you can move that table out of the way. Sound bar, DVD player, some other storage spots up here over here. 
another cool feature which they started on their Solus is that you've got magnets up here. So these stay open. You can just leave them open while you're camping to get in and out of stuff without having to open your cabinet every time or if you're loading up your coach. Let's take a look at where the ladder is mounted for this. this is a, it's, I don't know if it comes across on video, but this is a really spacious bed. You got flaps you can open up. They'll create a lot more light. And I went over here as well. And it's a very spacious bed. It's got to be at least about a queen. Well, I don't know. But yeah, it's got to be a queen. Definitely suitable for two people, for sure. And it's long. A couple plugs there, 12 volts, and a USB. And then there's a light switch over here, which activates a little light back here. I'm trying to get down with one arm. One arm ladder climber. I like that under lighting and this two-tone, kind of a greenish color. Your fridge is decent size. I like the placement of that. Freezer. You can get shelves down here too, so one, two, three, four, five sections plus three over here. The bathroom is so super cool. So got your sink, toilet area, little storage up here. Then you grab this and voila, shower. Pantry storage here or whatever. Oh, more storage here. That's not bad. A couple drawers on each side here. I wonder if I'm wrong about that front seat. I think they do both swivel actually. I'll check that out in a minute because there's a pad for each one, which means there's probably both swivel. So that's designed to sit on top of the front seats when they're swiveled around so maybe you're not sitting so low to the ground. So, put a light on. Something cool about this here, which is also helps complete the bed, I guess. If you want a bigger bed, it's hard on this side, but it's hard to see here, but there's like a drink holder, a little tray, another drink spot. So you can put it upside down over here. So if you're sitting back in bed, you could have kind of like a middle side table if you want. And so this is also recessed, so stuff won't fall out as easy. And then on, it basically works as the uh, base for the bottom. When you have it flipped upside down, it can sit over here and then create a larger bed space if you want it. But um, I think it's easier to get in and out of bed when you have this open. So there is a powerful fan back here too. And the air, conditioning uh, return is right there along with three ducts on the ceiling so you should be able to keep plenty cool back here these are dual pane acrylic windows and does keep out the heat much better than regular glass windows you got your cassette here you can completely close out the light or let some in or a lot and those flip out like safari windows so that release these latches you've got three levels one two and then one more and you hear that click so that is nice and you can close that out so the bugs don't get in and when you want it back in you just go lift it a little bit more and it'll come right back down Just like that. So, I think that's about it. Another one up here, and then another one over here. So four large windows, 
in this coach. Let's take a look at this seat. I know that it's, when I check this, this is how you leave the emergency brake on. When you push that down, it still keeps the parking brake, emergency brake engaged. So it's moving out of the way so that you can swivel your seat. So my guess is that it does swivel. I just haven't tried it before. So let me take a look at the actual lever to see if it's there, just because this is still pretty new to me too. Yep, sure enough, that's the uh, lever that gets it to swivel. Oh, you pull it out. Yep, there we go. So it does swivel. Awesome. Very cool. I guess that's it for now.